I'm Jamie from Stillmeyer Games. Welcome to game 51, round three, the final round of this game. And I think we're in a pretty good position here for a high score. I, I think even, well, hopefully the die rolls cooperate with us, but my little size between two cities, between two castles, traditionally pretty easy realms to complete. Um, between two castles will require 10 total numbers, but between two cities only technically requires six numbers to get all six stars. My little size is also a very generous realm. None of these are promo realms, so anyone can play along if you have a, a core copy of Rolling Realms. I look forward to seeing how we do today. Feel free to comment to say hi. Comments weren't working the other day, but then they worked for round two, so hopefully they're working today. I'll pop in the comments to say, to say hi. There, there's a comment. We've got one comment from me. I'm going to turn the camera down right now so you can see what I'm looking at. There we go. Okay. Let's see if the dice can possibly screw this up from being a suboptimal round. I doubt it. Let's see how we do. Okay. Turn one. A five and a four. Five and a four. Where do we start here today? Well, I know every single turn I need to do something in between two castles, and I'd love to get some early coins in between two castles. So let's put that five right here. And I'd love to increase the potential for coins in my little scythe. I don't want to wait too long in between two cities, though, because if I get that moving, I can get a lot of resources out of it. But the potential for uh, for pairs in my little scythe is, is really important. So turn one might have to be, unfortunately, an empty turn for between two cities. Perhaps that's the, down, the one downside for this combination of realms. It looks like comments might not actually be working, unfortunately. So, because uh, I just saw my own comment disappear. So that might be the case today. I, yeah, I see. Okay, I can see that there are comments. I just can't see them myself. So... That is very odd. I'm sorry, I won't be able to see your comments today. That's unfortunate. That's why That's why I do this here. Um, yeah, I don't, I'm trying to think of a workaround where we. Where else we can go so I can actually see your comments. You know, I'll pull it up on my phone just in case I can see what you're saying. Let's see if I can pull up my own live stream. Okay, I can. Okay, this is a little bit of a workaround, but I, I have it on my phone here. I can see what you're saying here. See, Chad says, hope all is well. Tom is here. Oh, I need to make sure I turn my volume off. There we go. Um, Tom's joining for the first time live. Ian's here. Chad is here. Um, Ian says, Ian has a nice comment about customer service. He says, uh, you know, Ian got the wrong package, I think, yesterday. He says, everything was taken care of and the correct version of Red Rising is on the way. I'm glad to hear that, Ian. I'm sorry you have to wait a little bit longer. I'm sure you wanted it for this weekend. Although this weekend, as Ian says, is Viticulture's 10-year retail release anniversary. Tomorrow, specifically, is the retail release, the 10-year retail release of uh, of Stillmeyer Games. So, or of uh, Viticulture, specifically. Our first game at Stillmeyer Games. So, um, this could be a weekend for Viticulture instead of Red Rising for you, Ian. Anyway, roll number two. A two and a six. Two and a six. So that six is tempting to use in between two castles, but I think I need that early coin. I can use the, the oh, I didn't even mark off the four. The four was supposed to go right here, so I'd get a heart. That's why I hadn't finished. There's the four. The two will also go for a heart. No, I'm sorry. The six will go for a heart. The six will go for a heart. The two will go over here to get another heart and a coin, and that coin will go right in the middle for between two cities. There we go. The comments on the phone are a little weird. I, I have to like tap it to see what's going on. Oh, I see jo Jonathan is here too. Designer of Tricarian Jonathan. You can see me looking at my phone here while I'm typing this. Um, but I can, I can. it's not updating well, but I can, I can see the comments on my phone. It's not on my screen. All right, turn three. A one and a four. One and a four, okay. Actually, okay, that's great. For, the four is great for my little scythe. Here's the four. It gets us a pumpkin and a coin. And the one. So I can't put the one next to the one that I already have here. I've already used the four. So I have a one. I can also create a one. Or I can even copy that four and use it somewhere. So I can put one kind of cheater number over here between two castles. Is it time to do that? Uh, Jonathan says, great workaround for today. 
Um, where do I want to put that? So I could copy the four, put it between two castles. I would love to work towards those two coins between two castles, but I really need to work towards completing Sorozo between two cities. So let's do that. I'm going to put the one down here. There's a pumpkin. And now I will copy the four and put it right here in between two cities. Tom says, here's hoping you have success like finishing Honey Buzz the other day. I was buzzing from that for for quite some time afterwards because I've never finished Honey Buzz before. Uh, that was awesome. <laughs> that was really awesome. And yeah, I hope for the same luck today. Hopefully some of you, did any of you finish Honey Buzz yesterday? Did you get the same luck of the bees to pull that off? Three and a four. Three and a four for turn four. A rare miss of the dice. Dice tray went off the... Uh, Went off the, the table there. Three and a four. So I can complete a row over here with that three. I kind of like that. Should probably get some ones working in my little scythe at some point. This could be a good time to do that. And the four is good for between two castles. So let's go with, actually a three or a four could work here. Hmm. In fact, four might be a little bit better between two cities. But that would leave a not great number for between two castles. I, I'd love to get this column over here. Chat says there should be a fun rule about dice hitting the floor. Yeah, what does happen when, when dice hit the floor? There should be a rule about that. So if I do four here, three here, put a one over there. I'm okay with that. Put the four here. Three right. Maybe I'll go after the, the middle column here. Yeah. Three right there. And then we'll use a one to start working on that pair of ones over here in my little side. Won't actually net me all that much because I used a coin to get that one, but I, that's fine. Okay, turn five. Let me know in the comments what you think the rule should be if I roll a die onto the floor instead of into the tray. My general rule for doing that is the dice has to be the die has to be on the tray or in the table wherever you're trying to roll it for it to actually count. In get that's my general rule in games. Two and a four. For turn five, two and a four. Hmm. Again, fours can't use in my little side. I have some flexibility. For, in fact, I do like the four here, and I can put the two over there in between two castles. I like that. Chet says, maybe if that happens, you have to roll with the non-natural hand after that. Oh, yeah, that's just awkward to roll dice with my, my non-dominant hand. I'll try that. It's going to feel weird. All right, here's the four to get two coins out of it. Closed captioning's on on the video for me. That, it, uh, that throws me off a little bit. Let's see if I can turn that off. There's probably a way to turn it off. Can I turn it off? No. Um, okay. Two and a four. There was the four. Got the two coins. The two. Probably put the two over here in between two castles. Yeah. Put the two there. And then my little side. I need to generate a lot more pumpkins to get the stars for my little side. Is it worth making a one? Yeah, I think it is worth making the one. Let's make the one and put that one right over here to get back the coin and get a pumpkin back. Okay, here I'll try a left roll here. Yeah, it just feels weird. Pair of sixes though. Maybe that's my, my pair hand. Whenever I, I want a pair, I'll roll my, I'll roll my, uh, use my left hand. Tom says, I guess it depends if the floor roll is favorable or not. See, I try not to even look at it, so I don't like know what what, it, what the world would have been with that roll. He says, sometimes it can be forgiven if the dice just lands, lands just right. So a pair of sixes. I like the pair of sixes in between two castles, but not good for finishing off that column. So let's put the pair. I know I'm going to need these pumpkins, so let's go after that. If I can get a heart out of this. I could use the pair again. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's put the six right here to get a coin and a heart. And now I can use two hearts to use the six over in my little side for a pumpkin and a coin. There we go. Now I'm, now things are working. I have five numbers in between two cities. So technically, I only really need one more number there. So far, so good. Okay. Okay. Three and a six. Three and a six. 
Sixes aren't good in my little scythe. I can use them in it between two cities, and I still like them in between two castles, unless I want to finish off a column. And I don't think I need to finish off a column right now. The six might be the, the way to go down there. So, yeah, let's go for a six in between two castles. The three. Hmm, where do I want the three? Let's put the three in my little scythe to get a heart. And I will create a one to put. This is the, the interesting choice, I think, with this combination of realms is we're probably going to get 18 points. So the, the decimals, the extra resources actually matter. So are spending coins, is that worth it in the end? Are you getting back two resources eventually for that, that cost of one? I'm hoping to get it back eventually. We'll see if we do. So here's the one. I'll put it right there in the corner. In fact, I can put ones in all the corners in between two cities if I want. Okay. That looks good. Wow, only two, two turns left. This has gone fast. Uh, turn eight. Yeah, it's time to double up in between two castles. A two and a three. Two and a three. Okay. Two and a three. So the three actually works on my little scythe. Let's put that three over there first. Get a coin, get a pumpkin. The two. Hmm. I think I'm going to use a two in between two cities right there to get a, a pumpkin and a coin. And I'll use one coin over in between two castles to get two coins. And is it time? Yeah, I think now is the time. Hmm. No, maybe it isn't time because I've already used all the numbers. I'll wait till the last turn to double up in between two castles. Hopefully it'll be a low roll here. I want a low roll. Yesterday I wanted a high roll. Today I want a low roll for this final roll. Low roll. There we go, pair of twos. That might have been how we finished yesterday. I think, or maybe it was a one and a two to finish. A pair of twos to finish up this round. I don't really need to put it in my little side. I probably shouldn't put it over there in my little side. It actually works out perfectly for between two castles though, because I can put a two Let's go for the, the hearts first. Two. There's two hearts. And now that other two, I will turn into really whatever I want. We'll call it a three to use again right there. That's two more pumpkins. Oh, sorry. I missed comments there for a second. Jonathan says, I doubled up last round to copy the six for between two castles. Nice. Good call there. Uh, so do I do anything else here? I think it is worth it. Okay, because if I create a coin so i'm spending nope it probably isn't worth it but it feels good it isn't not worth it i'll spend a coin to put a coin right here so i spent one resource to get two but really i'm just netting one so i didn't actually do anything there but it felt like i was getting something and is it worth it to put the last coin is something here? Because I would have to spend a coin and spend three pumpkins. So that's four resources spent to get four resources. So it isn't worth that. It's the same thing. So I think we finish here. I have at least six of each resource. So I'm good for my little scythe. I have uh, everything filled in for between two castles, the lowest score between the two. And I have at least six numbers here in between two cities. That's another six. And I have eight, nine, ten. I have 15 extra resources. So we're looking at a 19.5. Oh, I wiped all my scores clean. Didn't mean to do that. 19.5. I think I had a 12.6 and maybe a 16.6. I'll check that. It might be a 16.5 yesterday. See, Nathan just popped in. So, yeah, that is... Uh, 19.5, that's, yeah, this this was going to be a generous score. Ian got an 18.8, .8, a great score. This was going to be a generous combination of realms. I bet someone out there might have combined it really well and gotten 20 somehow. I bet it's possible to get 20 with this combination. Nathan says he's getting his promos this week, so he'll play these soon. And Nathan, you could actually jump to round three if you wanted. You don't need any promos for round three. Jonathan got 19.3, very close to 19.5. His total score for the game was 14.5.
Sorry, the reason I'm looking at my phone here, if you're joining me late, is that I have comments up on my phone instead of on my screen. Yeah, Jonathan, uh, Jonathan confirms I had 16.6. Thanks, thank you, Jonathan. So what's the math on that? That is 28, 29, 29.2, 39.2, 48.2, 48.7 for me, 48.7. That's a good score. I'd love to cross 50. I think it's been a while since I've crossed 50 because some of the promo realms are maybe a little bit harder than some of these original realms, but, uh, but we'll get there. And Nathan says he might play in reverse. Ian says he missed two hearts. We so actually did get 19. That's awesome. Ian crossing that 19 threshold. Tom says a great score. Uh, thank you, Tom. Ian says 14, 45. Jamie got 48.7. Yeah. Thank you all for joining me. I love I love that people play along in the future, but it's really fun to have people play along live. So thank you so much for joining me this week for this uh, this game 51. And I'll be back in, you know, two weeks, maybe three weeks, two to three weeks for game 52. I'll see you then. Hope you have a great weekend. Take care. Bye.